Hello, this is the One Episode Rule, a podcast about first impressions. I am Magpie. It is our 200th episode, uh, an occasion we had no plans to do anything special for because all of us simply could not think about it. Um, However, it is coming out on Thanksgiving, which is weird that that coincided. (laughs) That is weird. That's just odd. Happy Thanksgiving feast upon our anime. We're uh, be thankful. Be thankful for that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Introductions. Um, I'm Blackle. Um, I've been up to all sorts of stuff. Um, not odd. Any of it has been anime though. So Blackle's been been a busy little bee. You've been up to like impressive, like like interesting things, (laughs) like real world cool (laughs) stuff, like like real shit. (laughs) (laughs) I've become reality. Blackle's cooler than all of us combined. Um, Combined, (laughs) combined. (laughs) I don't know. I'm Um, pretty cool. (laughs) I mean, it's it's a close call, but and and Louis an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Joey, and I have been using my week to watch anime. <laughs> uh, I watched Don't all worry, of you're School still cool. Live. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I watched School Live, and I watched My Home Hero, both of which I had a pretty good time watching. Oh yeah, how's uh, you? You live blog part of School um, Live, but. I mean, I'm gonna watch that myself. How yes. was my home hero though? Um, I would say it's 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 a pretty fun watch. Uh, very uh, like high stakes thriller sort of stuff. Like every, uh, it feels like every episode they do like a little cliffhanger at the end mm. to keep you interested, which keep I don't mind up. so much. But um, yeah, no. Every time you think you think you're like okay. They've finally fixed everything. No, they haven't. No, they haven't fixed anything. <laughs> so You're even a fool to think so. <laughs> even at the end of the season, there like something happened at the very end, and you're just like, oh, they're setting up for season two. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's it's worth a watch. I would say. Um, cool. That's my review. Um. I don't have anything to follow that up with. I haven't watched any anime. Oh, I should say my name. Hi. Um, it's Louie. Hi, Louie. It's Louie. You got Louis. some Louis. cards today. I did get cards from Godchard, but I didn't watch any anime. I've been uh, also doing real life stuff. Yeah, being cool. All right. I don't know uh, about that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, maybe some news. Yeah, I got some cool. news. I'm gonna give you a bad news sandwich. <laughs> uh oh. So um, so so for, uh, first good uh, first good things, which is, and this just brings delight to me. I don't know if everybody <laughs> else is in on this, but I love to see a United States American football team collaborate with an anime. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they did. They did that last year, didn't they? Uh, that that was the that was the Chargers, and they they ha- they had somebody animate their entire schedule, which was yes. very funny. Uh, the the <laughs> the Los Angeles Rams has announced okay. that they will collaborate with One Piece for what? a one off kind of event during their December third game against the Cleveland Browns. One Piece. The Hello? NFL team will feature the legendary fran- franchise with digital signage across SoFi Stadium, the team website, and special gifts given the fans on the day. So, okay, the big the big marquee being a One Piece thing, not that weird, a little odd. Sure. You wouldn't think the audiences would coincide, but whatever. Big marquee, right? But the first 10,000 attendees at the, in person at this game will get One Piece-themed gifts. That's so they are get, they are getting tote bags and sports <laughs> towels branded with one piece shit. I can't Could believe Could you imagine I'm if stunned. it's not like it, it's all like artisan like like art, like like one of a kind shit and it's not like mass produced that'd be so funny. It, you <laughs> know not, it's like you like you know you say that they don't even look cheap like they look <laughs> normal. <laughs> like I'm not so sure funny. I would use this but <laughs> you're getting you're getting one piece like um, we, we, we hired like one guy in like the middle of Japan to like make these like super artisanal one piece like 
<laughs> One piece artisanal he football towels. He refused yeah, exactly. payment. He did it for the love of the craft. But, Wait, uh, is it the Rams the because? Hold on, is it the Rams because their ship is shaped like a ram? I I have no information on that. That's probably not true, but that is fucking cool. If so, um, I just imagine anyhow. imagine your dad getting fucking box <laughs> tickets to the Rams game, <laughs> and they just hand him this. this uh, they just hand him this one piece. You want this thing I got the Rams game? It's uh, it's a Luffy, uh, <laughs> Luffy giving it's a thumbs up. Luffy one piece, I guess. Luffy I don't know wearing who a football is. helmet. Um, <laughs> okay, now for the bad news. Um, All right, let's have it. <laughs> Finally, lay it on us. Uh, first, a translation of a tweet, which is, it's a small joke, or rather an inside joke. The building that collapses in this scene actually exists in Shibuya, but since we, I, I couldn't find the floor plan or photos of the interior, I decided to demolish Ma Mappa's Jujutsu Kaisen production floor instead, as it had the perfect size. The reception from staff for this scene was really good. <laughs> and what, what are we leading, <laughs> leading in, uh, this is leading into Mappa's I mean JJK problems have not gotten better. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the initial uh, complaints have apparently emboldened other animators to make comments on th on how the studio does things, and it looks pretty fucking dire. They it's... have bitten off far more than they could actually chew, and the and management is expecting the artist artists to pick up the slack. Yeah, it's rough out there. Um. Look. So, Look, some I know. Listen, I know, I I know what they're producing is pretty good, but even they're not satisfied with it. Like there's like uh, what, what Ro Rosia Nobili, <clears throat> that's their uh, the Twitter handle, uh, claiming in a now deleted post that pa the past week's episode was not even finished. I'm so oh. happy people like it, but it was only thirty percent of what we intended. <laughs> what the hell? That's fucking like, shocking um let's see uh according to animator Ho uh hone hone who animated chainsaw man as well uh this is par for the course at Ma uh, mappa jujitsu kaisen zero was reportedly made in a short amount of time compared to the average movie making period of two to three years setting Ugh. a bad precedent for upper management to judge staff by uh, they're apparently not getting fairly compensated for their work itsuki uh itsuki suchigami remarks that the pay is nothing special compared to other projects and not really reflective of all the work that's going into the productions and finally uh hakuyo go uh remarked uh, simply remarked on twitter throw your key card in the trash when you leave work <gasps> yikes Business partners and board members are the only priority. I wonder how long this company will last. Oh no, Didn't that's the dire. Original Mappa guy, like, book, like, leave the company to go make that other company that did the Astro Boy thing. That that might be true. I don't know about that, but it sounds fucking bad there. And if they can't turn it around, things may be pretty rough for Mappa, which is the same because the studio has produced. The, the thing is, is, I think upper management wants the reputation of, like, Kyo Kyoto Animation. But the thing is, is it took Kyoto Animation to, like, fucking 15 years to get where they are. Yeah. Well, uh, speed run. Yeah, no, you, you can't. Yeah. Two, two hour speed run. Yeah, speed you run it. <laughs> uh, Louis. Um, bad shit. I uh, I hope everyone there can find the balance between living and doing what they like to live mm -hmm. <laughs> for a living. Um, and finally, some good news. Apparently, this is surprising to me. The Great Pretender is getting a sequel. I saw that. They're what gonna make another. Again? That is the Netflix anime about the crooks. <laughs> oh right, yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, well, the, the swindlers where they, they yeah, want to sell fake drugs. Play Freddie <laughs> yeah. Mercury song at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gets named after the Fred, the Freddie Mercury track, "The Great mm -hmm. Pretender." So. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, apparently that was popular enough that they are going to continue it uh, with some key right. art that looks pretty dope. Nice. I don't, I'm usually not super impressed by key art reveals, but. Uh, uh, the visual style on this looks pretty cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. I I did watch all of the first season, so I'll probably watch this too. Uh, seems pretty cool. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Blackal, I tasked you yeah. with going into the vault. Uh, it's my, first it's of all, my, it's all, my task. First of all, are you okay? Second of all, did you find anything? <laughs> I'm okay. Why did you ask if I'm okay? No reason. Don't worry about it. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I'm chosen. I've chosen. True mm. cooking master boy. Oh, excellent. Just, what a name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, uh, true yeah, cooking master boy it is. Hey, listen, that's half the way I put things in the gun, so... Oh my. So, why'd the chicken cross the road? <laughs> I don't know, why? Avenge their brother. He to get away from this fucking main character. <laughs> to get away from, <laughs> from this man. I, like I thought it was real fun how they made like a big deal about how how dedicated to the chickens this guy was, and then they killed four of them. They killed them. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like, we love our the chickens. Next day, for and dinner. they played heroic music during it. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, uh, I, I also want to start off with this, is, is that, uh, dear listener, uh, Fibromelanosis is a real condition yes. uh, possessed by several different breeds of chickens, including the uh, Silky, uh, Svarthona, and Black Hamong. <laughs> oh my. So it's a uh, real can thing. Just, can we just talk um, about how this dude probably died of bird flu? Um, unfortunately, <laughs> from what I am reading, their meat is no better than regular chicken and actually is kind of gamey. <laughs> um, anyway... <laughs> Uh, because uh, they possess a number of other mutations that make their lives difficult. <laughs> I love to have mutations. I love I to have learn mutations. stuff on this podcast. God damn Does it. anybody want to read this blurb? Because it you makes me I'll, laugh. I'll read it because it's short as fuck. It's super short. Actually, tell me how to say that first word there. Uh, Guangzhou. Guangzhou, I okay. I took contemporary Chinese history in college and I still don't know. So, grip me. Um... After Maybe passing Guangzhou. the Guangzhou, 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 uh, Guangzhou special Guangzhou. chef trials, Mao decides to travel around China. Not that Mao, but like a different Mao. <laughs> a different Mao. To travel one around China to learn more about the unique preparation of food. Upon his return, he will learn that the real battle has only just begun. The underground <laughs> cooking society has already <laughs> begun to move. <laughs> the chicken mafia what the has fuck? got him. Okay, so. I don't know what it is about this show, but it hit me hard as a comedy. <laughs> it, like, it, it, that was like a really weak first episode. I just want to go to the Google gate saying that. like, Absolutely not. It was incredible, just not in the way I think they intended. Or maybe they were intending it to be this hammy. <laughs> Um, we no, have to remember the, that this is based on a 90s manga and then anime. I, I do want, yeah, we should lead out with they that. still had that taste in the 90s. There was I want to a, remind uh, everyone of that. Is yes. That, that this is a Baki situation where we have not seen the first part of the story, but it yes. also doesn't matter that much. <laughs> so I was actually, if if you guys want to take take just a minute to, uh, we'll, we'll go through and the history. right here. Yes. <laughs> Um, so what happened was in the 90s, the manga was coming out and they mm -hmm. pretty much immediately started making an anime for it. They got to about 19, I believe, episodes in mm -hmm. and they had caught up with the manga. So they it began to make filler. Mm -hmm. um, so what they did was they made about 52 episodes worth of filler. <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus so Christ. what we're what yeah, we just watched what we just watched yeah. is it picks up after that initial 19 so uh, this 19th is, episode but it this was made in 2019. So this is true chicken boy. I see yes. why they used the word shin why they had to also use... made it nearly impossible for us to find the correct thing to watch. Yeah, it was hard to, it was because a little the hard word to parse. Doesn't fucking translate into English properly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So 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 let's get to it uh because I it's already <laughs> fading from my brain. Uh we open we open on uh on uh his name is Liu uh Liu Maozing um but they call him Mao on the road with his companions. <laughs> 
uh, a little, a shitty little boy. <laughs> yes, yeah. we're gonna have we're That's gonna right. have difficulties with this episode because the names are Chinese instead of Japanese. So and the characters I, are not memorable at all. I actually have zero problem with most of these names, but then again, sure. the only named characters are. <laughs> Yeah. Are, there's only four named characters. So, um, so, uh, so yeah, we open on the road. This kid's name is Shiro, and uh, he's complaining because he's apparently starving to fucking death. <laughs> we get nice. some anime tummy growl noises. Mm-hmm. And so, and uh, and I don't know what his relation to them are, uh, but uh, there's there's a girl character who may be Mao's girlfriend or sister. Girlfriend, sister. Not oh, no, no, not that. that. Not, nope, <laughs> not that one. Well, it is Adam. <laughs> Incorrect. Um, no, nope, not, not this time. Not but, this uh, time. Uh, <laughs> I like the phrase, not this time, because it's, oh, we've seen some Not shit, this time. His, uh, we'll call her his traveling companion. Yes. <laughs> um, That's The fine. Misty so, to his ash. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, she she basically tells the kid to pipe down uh, because the kid is complaining about how Mao spent all of their money on a cookbook. Yes, <laughs> uh, because because uh, because Mao's hyperfixation is cooking. <laughs> yeah. Which you know what? And no one can say no to him. You know what? I've heard of worse ones. Yeah, this seems yeah. fine. Cooking, you know, is, cooking fine. is cooking is a career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's better than being passively obsessed with airplanes and not being a pilot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I mean he's in a, a time period where it's more feasible to do that too. Yeah, from what um, I can tell. Um, like people can just go out and become chefs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like if you have, a, if that's your, you know, if that's your hyperfixation, good, I guess. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, he's. Uh, He's he's feverishly paging through this uh, book. Uh, I, there may be a flashback here. There's a couple of flashbacks in the episode. All of them are basically meaningless, except for one. <laughs> yeah, they're mostly going to not mean anything to someone who didn't watch the original show, I think. Which I think is crazy for a show that was made in 2019, referencing a show that was made in, like, 1996. Yeah. Yeah. To expect us to remember the connection. <laughs> yeah, no, you remember this classic character, right? <laughs> Even people who had seen the original. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, perhaps. But anyway, Shiro, and Shiro falls his ass down a hillside because he's too hungry to live. Um, <laughs> um, and they call after him, and apparently he's okay. But while they're they're looking down, they're just like, oh, hey, there's a town down there. Maybe we can stop in. For some uh, for some food, uh, and it's just like, oh, that makes sense. And they they head down there, uh, and they're walking through town. And this is where it started to break me, <laughs> like psychologically, because I need you to understand that everything here is taken almost one hundred percent seriously. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and so they are serious. They start talking about it's like, wow, there's a whole bunch of chickens here, and Mao says, yes, this is Chicken Town. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Where the country gets country. where the country gets all of its chicken from, and I'm just like, like Hoth is the ice planet. There's just chicken. Ta- yeah. Is chicken there a pork world. town too? I suppose we'll it's, have to sh- watch the show to find out. It starts to get. No, it, don't. it starts it starts in on me early. Um, but uh, <laughs> but as they're walking, uh, they're uh, they're talking about, hey, there's a there's an awesome chicken cooking competition, and it's just like, oh yeah, Mal wants to enter that. Of course he does. He's a chef, man. Yes. Um. Uh, and while they're talking about that, Shiro is climbing somebody's tree to get at their persimmons. <laughs> Uh, and they're just like, don't fucking thieve. It is like, this house is... I know you're uh, starving to death, but... It's just like, this house is abandoned. I'm sure it's fine. And then somebody just knocks his ass down out of the tree with bamboo broom handle. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, will you not steal from my property? Uh-huh. She's just He's like, like, I'm sorry, your was house abandoned. was all fucked up and abandoned. It's just like, well, I'm sorry it's not up to your standards. <laughs> sorry my house is so shit. Get out of here. Who are you from? The fucking homeowners association? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, they're just like, we're so sorry. It's just like, he's really hungry. And their stomachs are out again. And she's like, fine, have one. And she's like, oh, uh, just like, uh, Arigato, thank you very much. And he takes a huge bite of it. And she's like, they're sour persimmons. <laughs> <laughs> he does the like um, rainbow vomit thing. Yeah. 
um, and she invites the men to hang out and eat anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, they're they're sitting there eating, and Mao's reading at the table like you're not supposed to. Um, put your phone away. <laughs> <laughs> Be present in the moment. Um, uh, and they're they're talking about it. it's just like. Just like, wow, this place is a real fucking hole, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> These are the rudest people I've ever They're seen. They're so rude. <laughs> They're like, why is your house so shitty? Why is your house so fucked up? It's just like, why is this the only shop in town that's doing poorly? <laughs> and she's just like, how about none of your fucking business? <laughs> uh-huh. And then she's Maybe, like, why don't you stay the night? Why don't, you, why don't you stay the night? My name's, her name's like Mew or something. I don't remember. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but uh, she's real. Uh, but but yeah, she's real Sunday, right? Isn't she? She's A little like, bit. Like, go ahead and stay the night. Um, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And they uh, and they do. They they sleep in the. I feel like they're sleeping in the stable or something. It does look like a barn. They're sleeping in like a bunch of hay. And they don't even remark on it, so this must be normal for them. Yeah. <laughs> um. But but when they when they wake up, uh, uh, well, first of all, Mao's just lying laying there. It's just like, why is this the only the, the only shop that's not doing well in this town full of rich people? Um, uh, and they they get up and uh, slide open the door, and the yard is full of black chickens. Yeah, and these are some fucking black goth fucking. These chickens. are goth chickens. I literally wrote that. Um. Uh, and he's just like, "Wow, black chickens! Why are they like that?" And and uh, their host is just like, "Don't touch them! You'll get their curse. <laughs> the birds of misfortune. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the drama of it." So so what gets really makes me laugh about this is it has all of the tropes of like a bad uh, like a like a bad shonen battle anime, <laughs> but it's all fucking cooking shit. And the combination of the two just makes me laugh every time. Yes. Um, it's just like the birds of misfortune. It's like, what do you mean? It's just like my dumb, my dipshit. Uh, they killed my dipshit brother, <laughs> <laughs> who apparently came home from uh, from Guangzhou uh, 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 after working at a at a fancy restaurant to open a chicken place here in town called Black Feather Tower. And he bought these. Uh, he bought these black chickens and raised them, but they were shit. <laughs> they kept dying and not laying eggs. They don't lay eggs, and they have no no vitality. And every time he, one would die, he'd go buy another. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I think your brother just needed to learn business sense, like, like uh, buddy. And uh, and though our friends tried to help, eventually they all abandoned us because they, because they assumed he was insane. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got ill and died, uh-huh. believe, still believing that the chickens would be their salvation. Uh-huh. <laughs> they, could, they would change how chicken is served in yeah. this town. It's just like, wow, that's... Uh, and sh- the funny thing is Shiro stops talking about fifth a fifth of the way through the episode yeah that's <laughs> true i fucking didn't even notice that and i see him in the background and he just looks like he's standing there nodding he's just like oh yeah that makes sense <laughs> 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 oh but birds of misfortune huh that's fucking crazy hey do you have any more food <laughs> <laughs> um but uh but uh, yeah, and she 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 curses his name because she can't bring herself to not take care of these cursed chickens. Mm. Uh, and Mao decides to take up this cause. He's just like, I will cook the chicken. <laughs> Me, I, a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> I will help you. I, 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 I he, and he picks up a chicken and like cuddles it. And he's just like, I'm going to cook you. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. I know. <laughs> it's freaky. <laughs> It was at this um, point I debated whether or not I was going to drop the episode. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you're like, oh no, he's going to kill you. I was like, not another... Not another precious animal. Although these, <laughs> They draw these birds like they are demons. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were really cute, actually. Things, but, actually. But uh, they have no... Uh, they seem to have no eyes. <laughs> well, me. they're just drawn the same color as the yeah. feathers, so... 
which is how those chickens look in real life. I've but, seen uh, them. But I, I don't know. I'm used to my chickens, which <laughs> magpie lore. Magpie has chickens. Um, uh-huh. And mine uh, mine just look like little hawks. So uh-huh. um, I grew up with chickens. And they were always so cute. But uh, but yeah, he's just like, I'll cook in the competition with these chickens. Uh, <laughs> And she's like, oh, wow. And then th- we go to the day of the competition. Because this show does not fuck around. I'll give it that. That's true. Yeah. We are not lingering. Um, uh, but it's the day of the competition. And <laughs> and everybody's, all the restaurant tables are set up. And Black Feather Tower has one set up. And they're just, all the, 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 the passers-by and observers are like, ooh, Black Feather Tower's here. <laughs> mumble mumble curse curse it's like what the fuck are they doing here and Miu and the girl whose name I forget and Shiro are there and they have like a leek and four sesame seeds on the <laughs> yeah they got on the nothing table. this is like this is the produce you brought <laughs> and Mao isn't even there they're like um this, this, this is about to begin Where's uh, where is Mao where is he Fucking chicken, chi- like like dead brother chicken girl is just like it looks like she's about to break at any given moment. Yeah, she's just like she's like this was one betrayal too many. I'm gonna jump into the river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, and they drag this scene for whatever reason seems to drag out pretty like weirdly long. But yeah. But yeah, they, they they talk they they talk about it for a while, and she flashbacks to her brother dying of like fucking bird tuberculosis or whatever. <laughs> yeah, God, that guy definitely got bird flu. Yeah, that guy got definitely. bird flu. Definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Too dedicated to the chicken. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but uh, but yeah, uh, just then Mao comes in because he said he was gonna fucking show. What is he gonna do? Run off? Why? <laughs> um. But he shows up with uh, with four of the bird, black birds, and everybody's like, oh, "The black birds of misfortune. Surely he won't. He's not going to cook them." <laughs> it's just like, no, he just killed them uh, for fun. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> for fun and sport. Yeah. He did do that though. Um, I said Shiro was here. I lied because he actually w- was with Mao, and he was complaining about being scratched up, right? Uh, because they spent too long wrangling chickens to be mur- to murder. Um, they were like, we had to pick the best ones. Um, it's like, it how can really, you fucking tell? It really bothers me that this they're playing up the murder of these chickens <laughs> that the brother loved until I his know. dying breath. Has well, I mean, the brother was going to cook them, too. I assume he okay, was going to cook them If he was going to well. cook them, then why didn't he do it yet? <laughs> I don't because he, they kept dying before he could, is what I, I understood. I assume this, they had not, he had not created a good enough stock of chicken to actually serve at the restaurant. Well, yeah. the sister but, uh, was still, I have to take care of them, not I have to kill them, so... Um, <sighs> well, she's not a chef, so actually she probably just took care of them and, to lay, and ended up with a population of chicken good enough to cook. Whatever. Now, counterpoint. I at mean, the... I, at some point they stop being stock and start being pets. At the, mm-hmm. yeah. at the end of the episode, I think she's going to turn this into a restaurant. System. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. anyhow, we'll get there. Well, she's she, she's going to turn it into a chicken breeder. She's taking it seriously at the end of the episode, but right. whatever. Um, so, so, yeah, he shows up with the birds and it's like, wow. Uh, and now it's time to cook. Everybody's going to cook. Um, yes. Uh, there's not. There's nothing let to say about cook. this. <laughs> we are going to let him cook because there's there's really no point in describing this other than he does flash back a few times to various cooking like memories that he has. Remember this classic moment from the show that you all remember that you definitely watched. I hope um, you yeah. do. Uh, remember this moment because this is the moment that he became super chef. Uh-huh. That's his fucking title. He is a super chef. I I need to also point out that this is the moment when our our judges show up and their character designs are fantastic. These guys are fucking great. Mm-hmm. They are chicken themed men. They are com- <laughs> they're completely stone faced, and they also manage to look like thugs from Fist of the North Star. Yeah, they just have <laughs> big rooster hair. I think it's ju- I think it's because of the Vegeta hairline and the rooster hair, hair yeah. that made me think of Fist of the North Star. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> 
but they are they are taking it completely seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, it's time to start judging. And it's just like, oh, they show off some good looking food, and this is a food manga, so the food looks good. I did start getting hungry. I it really pretty, started getting hungry. It looks pretty good. And it's just like, oh, there's Peking duck, and then there's this miso duck, and you know, whatever. And uh, they 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 go through all the flavors. It's like, oh, this is very good. Oh, this broth is so good. What did you do? Oh, we didn't boil it. We steamed it. It's like, okay, uh-huh. fine, whatever. <laughs> Uh, fucking uh, Cook Shishomaru shows up halfway through this. Yeah. To stand in the back <laughs> mysteriously <laughs> and judge Mao. <laughs> it's very funny. This just this blonde boy with this star, like a this star is, on his back. I this don't... is the only way I can describe him as Cooking Shishomaru. Cooking? <laughs> yeah, I would have called yeah. him like Anime Legolas or something. <laughs> um. But uh, but yeah, it gets the the Mao's turn, uh, and Mao goes up there, and they're just like, "Oh shit, this kid's cooking for Black Feather." Mm-hmm. It's like, isn't that guy dead? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, is this which also, is like this a valid. Loud? That actually is a valid concern. Isn't that guy dead? What the hell? Yeah. Um, under new management. Um, but he he brings his uh, a big hot pot up there, uh, and they're just they they're just like, all right. Reveal your dish, and they take it off, and it's just a pot of white rice. Yeah, so just a, a solid like mass of white rice, and they're just like, "Do you understand? This is like a very serious like regional <laughs> cooking competition, young man." <laughs> yeah, we take this very seriously. I'm just like there is no need to taste this. This is a prank. It's just like please, just one spoonful, and you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> And the middle one is just like, I will try your white rice. And it, it's, it's so tense for no reason. Because one of the guys is just like, Governor, Governor, you really? You don't have to. You, you can't don't have stoop to. to eating white rice. <laughs> the drama. And he, he, takes a, he takes a spoonful. Uh, he takes like a ceramic spoonful. Well, that reminds me of the fucking miso spoons from a mm-hmm. Japanese restaurant. Um, I want some miso. I know, I'm getting but, hungry. Uh, why do I want just water soup? Because that's what miso is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just hot flavored water. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, well, know, yeah, if but you mo- mix, if you mix, uh, if you take like broth powder and then you like mix it with boiling, a little bit of boiling water so it dissolves and then mix in milk, it's actually quite a nice drink to just have when you're feeling sad. All right. Yeah. You know, Black you know, you okay? that's, that's cooking tips with Lockle. You, you know, a recipe is appropriate for this episode. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, he, he lifts it up and he's, and he, and he looks at it closely and he's just like this glow. And I'm just like, he can see that. <laughs> that's <laughs> diegetic. Like, he's <laughs> like, all right. Okay, buddy. Just like this aroma. And he, he takes a bite. He's just like, mm, and The expressions and noises this guy makes over this chicken flavored rice. We have fucking crazy. We we have like a food wars moment here. He he fucking crows like a rooster. He does. About it. Um, He makes really loud noises. And the other two are just like, wow shit, I gotta try this. And 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 they all horse into it and to finish their bowls. And the uh-huh. crowd is crowd is confused and frightened. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, I'm telling you, are like blushing at the end of this. Yeah, they, yeah. They've had a they've had a petite mort. Um, but <laughs> they, uh, but yeah, they're just like, I have two questions. What is the nature of this dish? Like, this looks like rice, but tastes like chicken. How did you do it? And they're just like, and he's just like, behold, and he o- he opens another one. <laughs> And there is a pitch black chicken in there. <laughs> um, and he slices it open and it's full of rice and they just go, oh! <gasps> Holy shit. And he's just like, I have, I have stuffed the chicken full of rice and boiled it. <laughs> I created an affront to life. <laughs> transferring the flavor from the rice to, into the chicken, which I will presumably discard later in an act that will... Fucking enrage magpie specifically. 
Don't because discard it will that trigger, chicken. It, it will trigger his anger about wasting food. Yeah, you, um, better, you better eat that chicken. You better eat that chicken. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and then I have, uh, I have transferred just the flavor and not the color or the texture. So you could truly appreciate it. And they're just like, ah, Narahodo. <laughs> and then yeah. I don't even uh, do that. And it seems like they don't even ask the second question, but I guess the second question is, who are you? Yeah, um, no, it's like they do a whole like <laughs> big deal place. about like how he's like this. He pulls off his like tie or whatever. Yeah, he's got he's got uh, uh, a cloth wrapped around his left arm, and he pulls it loose. And there's a there's an embroidered dragon there, and they're just like, oh. <laughs> He takes off only the sunglasses. A, the Who starts playing. Yeah, <laughs> o- only a super chef is permitted to wear those. And the and the most recent winner was the youngest in history, Liu uh, Liu Mao Zing. Uh huh. He's just like, yeah, that's me. And just like, hey, you should pay more attention to the people in your village because she raised these chickens by herself after her brother died <laughs> because it was his dream. Yeah. And they're just like, we will also help raise these chickens now. <laughs> Right. I have yeah, a complaint about him revealing that he was a master chef at this point because mm-hmm. he is swaying the judge's opinion. Surely this is cheating. And? Are you going to stop him? I mean, I can't, it's not like I can, but I was just like, are the other people in the town going to stand for this? Yeah, this is kind of like the one like master, like, a- like, like professional chef who like brings in like Stuff it's like, oh, he like, brought this white rice. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> and like everyone else is like a homemade like chef, which like is. And, uh, <laughs> I, don't I don't know. It's a, it, it seems a little unbalanced. What, what, what are the other what are the other guys going to do? Are they going to be poor sports about it? Danger no their own seemed, fucking business. <laughs> no one seemed mad. Mm-hmm. Maybe they were mad, but they didn't express it, which is like, OK, fine. But if I were in that audience, all I'm saying is I might have been a little mad. It might be really funny to see just one of those restaurants, like the Phoenix restaurant that served the fucking <laughs> great Peking duck, just that, like angrily packing up their shit yeah. and leaving. <laughs> really funny that peking uh chicken looked really yummy by the way <laughs> i wanted a bite so bad <laughs> but uh yeah the rest of the episode is just like just like you know yeah the whole town's gonna help you raise chickens he's like mm-hmm. just like maybe one day i'll move out to uh to Guang- guangzhou and it's just like i guess that's like the food capital of china <laughs> in this era yeah um Listen, I'm not terribly familiar with no <laughs> with like like the history of Chinese cuisine. <laughs> no, um, not a clue. But uh, but yeah, and they visit her brother's grave, and she's just like, "I'm so uh, just like, dear brother, I'm sorry. I thought you were such a crazy punk ass bitch. <laughs> Turns out you were right. My bad. <laughs> yeah, pretty much." <laughs> Sorry, I let you die of bird flu. Also, the the scenes cut here make it look like she's joining the gang and is just going to leave town with them. <laughs> yeah, she's but all not. of the dialogue is just like, "No, I'm going to start a fucking chicken breeding business." Uh-huh. And also, I barely know how to cook, so I guess I have to hire a chef. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and that's pretty much where the episode ends. Oh, uh, cooking Sashomaru does yeah. his little reveal. Like he's also got one of these. Oh, yeah, dragons. yeah, he's he's got one. He 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 caught the uh, the uh, cloth that was flying away, and he tied mm-hmm. it around a branch. Um, yeah, and he's just like, I'm cooking Sashomaru, and I can't wait to fight you again. Yes, <laughs> so cooking we'll, battles. He'll be back, I suppose. But yeah, that's basically the end of it. So this. This really fucking got me almost. I don't know why it's just the mood it hit me in. Almost as soon as I got into the OP, uh, where they did a bunch of cooking related things and a bunch of like references to the manga's history. Uh And then there were a bunch of guys with like ninja stars and shit. (laughs) And then it's quickly cut away from them. And I was just like, what's going on? You're like, what does this mean? Is there going to be violence? 
the, the underground cooking society has already begun to move. It has already begun to move. <laughs> it's already begun to move. If that's it pushes a button that, ha- that, that that's what it is. It pushes a button that was last pushed for me whenever I watched Gunpla Build Fighters, a <laughs> fucking terrible show with my buddy Brand, with friend of the podcast Brandon, where we were introduced to the concept of the Gunpla Mafia, and we had to turn it off and like go outside. And like not talk to each other for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like I had to sit oh. outside with my hands clamped, clam- like clamped <laughs> to my temples, like the Dunwich horror, <laughs> to deal with it. Yeah. Oh boy. So, what did we think about this show in general? Ten other out than- of ten. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad. Bad. Yeah. I didn't like it. Zero. Uh- Big goose egg. Best really of the season. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to be team bad for this one. It was bad. It was really bad. I had such a good time. It was so boring. Uh, Listen, I hate these tropes so much that when I see them deployed in a manner that completely <laughs> undercuts their value, it makes me so happy. <laughs> I get that. But I mean, it was just like, okay. I- I do not. I do not like long running like Shonen. <laughs> so yeah. whenever I see it yeah. mocked, I guess in this form, it I don't really think does they were trying me. to mock. It. I think they, they were, were doing not. this a hundred percent sincerely. Is the problem? Yes. I don't. I don't think it matters what they were trying. <laughs> to do. I, I want. I wish that I watched the anime that that Magpie Same. watched because. <laughs> I have cr- I'm glad. like I I I definitely have like I've definitely been there like that that person uh-huh. on the podcast that like we watch something stinky but for some reason like it, it resonates <laughs> sure. with you like it feels like it's doing something more complicated yeah. than it actually is. Uh I can't remember which one I I was for that, but like I, I feel your pain. I have yeah. created the anime. I don't wanted. sympathize <laughs> with them. You've in your mind, in your mind. I'm, eyes, I'm glad right. at least one of us got something. This is out a of version. This. this is a version of Food Wars I can stand to watch. <laughs> yeah, no. Like to be fair, oh, I, forgot about food I wars. couldn't watch Food Wars, but because I, could I am made deeply uncomfortable by Food Wars. Food Wars. Yeah, I watched two oh, seasons of that. People are, yeah. My <laughs> God, I okay. If I were to watch a cook- cooking show, I also it would play probably Nike, so. That's true. If I were to watch Sorry. a cooking show, it would probably be Dungeon Meshi. Yeah, which we, seems we, like it's a real, like sincerely, actually I good. We out um, we out here laboring in darkness before Dungeon Meshi. Yeah, we got to <laughs> say, wasn't yeah. that that this, theater premiere show? This mm-hmm. show, like this show, squeaked and squawked uh, like a chicken, so that <laughs> Dungeon Meshi could. Shine like a dragon. Diamond, diamond, like a golden diamond. Shine very like know. a diamond. I don't know. Listen, this don't this comparison. So I, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess you're not gonna watch more episodes. No. No, no I am. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'll put them on for us. Um, okay. Like. I, no. Since we're not watching a movie tonight. We're watching. No, Listen, I have shouldn't. to know. I have to know whether they go to Pork Town. <laughs> You go- listen. You're gonna have to God, go on that. You know, Toronto is called Hogtown. Did you know that? <laughs> Not Hogtown. No. Okay, well, we gotta go anyway. Wait. If you'd like, we gotta get out of here to visit Hogtown with Magpie. <laughs> no, you can do that you, you, at one episode yeah, cast at gmail.com. <laughs> you absolutely cannot. That is one the word, not the number. Don't don't visit Hogtown. Um. <laughs> we also have hey, I'm in Hogtown. No. Come visit me. We have a Twitter and a blue sky. I'm I'm so flubber flabbergasted by the end of this episode that I can't. It's blue sky. We're at one episode cast. Oh, and Twitter. That that exists. Blue sky any good? I don't know. I don't, I'm used I don't, to I like it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. We're there. <laughs> Don't go to Hogtown though. <laughs> go come to come, come to Blue Sky only. Vi- visit Sausageville with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Is every that like a single. Farm what if every single we gotta uh, end food, the recording? What if every single food had no, a town no, in this anime? Here. Which town would you all go to? Yeah, I'm going so wh- to. I'm gonna go to Soup Town. Soup going town. to Burritoville. 
right now. The right shiny way, wait, Burritoville in ancient <laughs> China. Yes, it's there. Trust me, it's there. I fucking dread to imagine. I have to get it. No, we have to leave. I have to get out of here. <laughs> we gotta I'm get out of here. <laughs>